That was definitely a more interesting Tuesday than I had expected.、Um, I think more interesting than most people had expected.、Uh, we started off the day struggling to crack、uh, 44.、Uh, we had just made it over by two cents in、uh, European trading. And uh, shortly, uh, shortly before our、uh, North American markets opened, Uh, or shortly after, I should say,、uh, we actually made it well past. So, for a little while, we struggled um, to um, kind of pick a direction. In, initially, we dropped a little bit and then started to climb very rapidly.、Um, our first move up, we kind of halted at 44.16,、um, which was the high from last、uh, Wednesday. So, we actually spiked on yet last week's Wednesday、um, EIA news announcement and we spiked to 44.16. So, that proved to be the level at which we initially struggled today on the upward move. Ultimately, we went as high as 44.44.、Um, but、uh, me being kind of the、uh, impatient trader that I am, I,、uh, I saw the 44.16. Um, it was good enough. Like I said、uh, this morning,、um, anything in and around 44 I saw as bearish.、Um, so I, I went in at,、uh, and bought my short at 44.16. And I expected it to top out、um, and then retreat with、uh, Europe's closing.、Um, surprisingly, Europe's closing actually held near the highs. Um, and as you can see, we've,、uh, we've drifted back to 44, almost 44 even at one point,、um, but basically have been holding in between 44 and the highs of 44.44,、um, in and around 44.20 ish.、Um, so we're heading into、uh, closing now. It's seven minutes before four Eastern time.、Uh, we've got API news at 4 30. And basically, everybody's just waiting to see what happens.、Um, so it's literally 50 50.、Um, I personally expect to, the news to be somewhat、um, positive. That being said, we've been climbing for five consecutive days、um, very, very gradually. And today we had that pop over 44. So, yes, we're, we're, I expect the, the announcement to be positive and have an upward. Impact on the price of oil. That being said, we, or, we may have already seen that price reflected in what, what we have today.、Um, so, will we actually move up from 44.20 or 44.40?、Um, your guess is as good as mine.、Uh, but if we do, I don't expect much of a move based on API news. If anything,、um, it'll be a small move in either direction, and then we'll get the confirmation tomorrow、um, at. 10 30 a.m. Eastern with the AI, EIA inventory news.、Um, and that will definitely confirm what direction we're going to go in the coming, in the remainder of the week.、Um, but like I said, I got in at 44.16.、Um, I have an existing uh, short, uh, excuse me, bull position at 44.34. So basically, right now I'm kind of、um, bridging. We're, we're literally right in the middle at 44.20. We're right in the middle of my bull and bear positions. So, regardless of what happens, as long as it's a significant enough move, I'll be selling something tomorrow following the news, whether it's that short position that we bought as a hedge today or one of the、uh, bull, maybe even two of the bull positions that we have、um, in the portfolio, which you can find over on my tradingjournal.ca account. Where you can get more information on my trades,、um, daily trade charts,、um, portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. But with the upswing,、um, you know, the entire portfolio has appreciated,、um, meaning less of a negative number, smaller negative number. So that's always nice.、Uh, and I'm feeling, you know, on the whole, I'm feeling pretty good.、Um, I, I don't know whether we're going to. It's, You know, I say this all the time. It's literally 50 50. Doesn't matter what the news is going to be, just play it kind of like a coin toss.、Um, because I've seen, and I'm sure any of you who, who trade it consistently,、um, any commodity, 
you'll have positive news and go down and you'll have negative news and go up so it doesn't matter what you believe the news will be it will do what it wants to do because traders basically control the day-to-day -day action in any commodity so it's 50 50 what happens on news whether it's today's 4 30 news or tomorrow 10 30 news um but either way um i'm i'm a bull overall but i do see us retreating back um, to 43, maybe even 42, and maybe even lower than that. Um, will it happen this week? Maybe not. Maybe it's next week, um, or maybe it's next month. But we will see these lows again. So if you take a look at the longer term chart, we take a look at the three month chart, you know, we see this um, upward trend in April, topping out um, early April, coming all the way down through May, um, moving back up. Um, through May into June and then spending all of the month of June heading down. Um, so now we've, we're, we're basically on this upswing, um, which has really kind of been defined today with our, our, our kind of little rally, let's call it. Um, and as you can imagine, a lot of people looking at this chart and they see this wave action. And of course, it's very easy to anticipate now, you know, now we're going to head back up and we're going to head over 250, right? Um, because that's kind of what the wave looks like. So um, my feeling is that sure, it's a possibility, but instead, I think we're going to see something that people don't expect necessarily. And if we zoom out to a longer view um, for 2017 as a whole, you'll see that the first three months were spent basically bouncing around within a $4 or so range. And that's actually what I expect to happen. So rather than move up back you know more or less in a straight line to 50 plus i think we're going to move up maybe to 46 maybe to 48 and then come back down and basically volley back and forth um, in some range but down here much lower than where people expect us to top out um, we might hit those numbers but i think we're going to spend the bulk of our time down here um, in between let's say I don't know, 46 and 42 or 45 and 40. Um, but we're going to spend our time much lower than I think most people expect. Um, and, that, and I include myself in that. I would like to see much higher numbers. Um, I don't think I'm going to get what I want. Um, so that's my expectation. As you guys can see, I'm a bull, but I'm very, very tepid as far as my bullish expectations. So I take short positions because it's the smart thing to do. Um, will you know? Do I take a risk in getting stuck with this short position at 44 if we end up, you know, climbing all the way back to 52? Of course. But will we see 42 again? Of course. Um, it's. I think it's just a matter of time, and I can afford to be patient. And if you can't afford to be patient, you shouldn't trade. <laughs> Uh, investing but no trading for impatient people so that's that's what happened today um, we're literally seconds away from closing and as you can see if I flip to the, uh, the uh, one day chart here um, kind of pretty much nothing has happened since since our uh, um, breakout uh, earlier in the day and uh, everybody's going to be waiting for the next half an hour until we get the API news and see what happens there. And ultimately, it re what really matters is the EIA information uh, to, be, to come out uh, tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. So until then, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to stay tuned to the trades um, in crude oil. Use the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my trades and portfolio. And uh, touch base with you guys tomorrow morning. Happy trading and good luck to all.